I am Ferdinand Marcos, and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hi everyone! Hello people! Hello words and hello Philippines! It's me again, mga bes! Ayan, mayroon tayong very very good news update. Ayan, kung saan guys, ha, in-interview ang ating mahal na Pangulo ay uh, tungkol dito po sa hmm, pagbubuga ng mall, uh, Mayon Volcanoes. Ayan, hmm. at isa pa yung uh, relasyon natin sa China at ang Pilipinas. Pakinggan nyo guys, ang kanyang mga sinasabi talaga namang... Uh, kakaiba si Pangulong Marcos Jr. sapagkat eh, friend to all, enemy to none. Sa bagay, tama naman po siya sapagkat hindi naman kailangan natin makipag-away sa bawat bansa. Eh, ba? Diba? Eh, although yung iba, talagang minsan pinag-iinitan tayo, pero tayo kalmado pa rin. Yan po ang ating mahal na Pangulo. No? Uh, ibang relasyon natin sa China, ibang relasyon natin sa US. Kung anong problema ng US at China, problema na nila yun. Out na tayo po doon. Ganun pa man, ang Pangulo, ginagamit lang niya, mga kababayan, yung kanyang katalinuhan na kung paano makipag, uh, kumbaga, makipag uh, kaiba, kaibigan sa bawat bansa. Kaya dito kabilib sa kanya eh. No? Uh, kasi itong mga sakang kasi, Uh, kung ano-ano mga pinagsasabi nila no? pero ang Pangulong Marcos Jr. mananatili talagang tahimik ano? kasi sa totoo lang tayo naman hindi naman tayo uh, uh, papayag na sumasangkot sa mga kaguluhan ano? eh, yung iba lang dyan kasi nagpapakalat ng uh, fake news no? kaysa may gera, si may ganito, si ganun eh, huwag natin isipin yun kundi pagdasal na lang natin yung bansa natin kaya dito ako bilib sa ating mahal na Pangulo mga kababayan nananatili yung kanyang confidence ba na talagang wala namang gera talaga as in na mangyayari kundi uh, ang kanyang uh, uh, at trabaho ang nakafocus sa kanyang mga planong magaganda sa Pilipinas nakikita nyo naman ang kanyang mga uh, magagandang gawain yung magagandang programa ang iniisip niya kasi ang kapakanan ng mamayang Pilipino ay siyempre mga kababayan ang interview na ito kasama din ang uh, ang uh, Uh, ay reporters nang galing sa ibang bansa hindi ko sure kung ito galing China pakinggan nyo guys ang kanyang uh, uh, sagot na talaga namang uh, walang humpay ang kanyang mga sagot sa mga tanong sa kanya but before that don't forget to like eh, subscribe nyo na rin guys ang ating mga cha ang channel no para madadami ang uh, uh, lalaki ang ating channel para tuloy-tuloy ang support natin sa ating mahal na Pangulo and hit the button bell para lagi kayong update sa aking mga upload videos and lives. See you again guys on my next live. Bye, bye, bye. Baboos! Good afternoon. How do you describe the current relationship of the Philippines and China under your administration? Well, uh, this is uh, something that again, it is uh, like everybody else uh, with our neighbors, uh, our partners, it's the same. It is evolving. Uh, simply because the world around us is changing. But it, doesn't cha it hasn't changed in any fundamental sense. Uh, some people have said that the Philippines has uh, shifted its policy away from uh, the People's Republic and to other powers. That is certainly not true. We have not, uh, we have not shifted away from China in any way whatsoever. We continue to foster the friendship, the relationship, the partnership that we have been developing with China since 1974 and 1975 when it became official. So that's how I describe it. It is a continuing, uh, it is a continuing search to find solutions to the challenges that we face jointly with China. Now, of course, as to the differences uh, between China and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Philippines, Uh, certainly they exist, but uh, it is not something that will define our relationship. It is something that we will continue to work to resolve and to make sure that the peace and the safe passage across the uh, South China Sea, the West Philippine Sea, is assured. And we look to China for part as partners in that effort to keep that peace and to keep the trade that is so important to this part of the world alive and vibrant. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Harley Valbuena, DZME. 
Hi, good evening po, Mr. President. Good evening. Sir, the fee box today just raised the alert level 3 po sa Mayon Volcano. So, what will be your directive po sa ating uh, disaster response agencies and also to the LGUs that might be affected by the volcano's increasing activity? Well, we are already, uh, we have been watching, of course, we have been watching both Mayon and Taal. Uh, Taal, it seems, is, uh, is uh, uh, not in such a precarious, in such a dangerous situation. Mayon is a little bit more uh, advanced in terms of uh, uh, the hindi hindi pa naman lumalabas yung lava. Uh, so, but that's the, if the lava flow starts, that's when we really have a, a, a disaster. Right now, uh, what we are doing is preparing and moving people away from the area uh, so that uh, should the time come, kung uh, hindi I hope it doesn't happen. But unfortunately, the science tells us na parang ganun na nga mangyayari kasi yung the, the, the lid or the cap uh, on, top of the, on top of the lava is uh, slowly rising not so slowly rising at pakapuputok nga kaya't nakabang tayo ng husto at nakaredy na naman tayo at uh, ganun naman talaga ang ating ginagawa we watch it very very closely make sure that any of the communities that could be affected are evacuated and are, be, are given uh, assistance uh, while they are in uh, while they are evacuated until the time that ca that they can return to their homes. So it's the same thing. Yung taal has the problem is the release of the gas, may toxic gas na medyo naramdaman na ng mga ibang uh, uh, na ibang tiga doon. Uh, the, yun, the DOH is looking after those people, and we have an we have analyzed the problem and we know. Uh, where the wind is blowing, kaya alam na natin kung saan dadaan yung mga toxic na gases, kaya di uh, pa iiwasin na natin yung mga yung mga uh, mga tao na nakatira doon sa area na yun. Thank you, Sir Mela Les Moras, PTV4. Hi, good evening, Sir. Sir, ilang linggo na lamang po ay ikalawang State of the Nation address nyo nga. Kumusta po yung paghahanda para dito? At ano yung mga dapat uh, i-expect ng mga tao mula sa inyong ikalawang zona? Ah, well, they, they, don't, don't, let me, you know, let me naman uh, uh, preserve some, uh, uh, keep it until it, the time the time comes. Well, the truth of the matter is we're still preparing everything, all the materials that we're uh, going to put together. Like any sauna, it will be a report to the nation as to what the situation uh, has, what happened uh, in the last year since the last sauna, uh, what, uh, where we are now, what uh, we have managed to do and where we still have work to do. Uh, that is essentially the, the, the template that we're going to use. So the, the things that I mentioned in the first sauna, we will have a look and see ano na nangyari doon sa mga ating mga pinag-usapan na, na yung unang sauna. At sa palagay ko naman, meron naman tayo ipapakita and that's, where, that's what the content of the sauna I, I think it will probably be. Last question from uh, CCTV. Thank you so much, Secretary. Thank you so much, uh, President. I would like to know that uh, because tomorrow marks the anniversary of uh, China Friendship Day, so how do you expect and how will you strengthen the relationship between China and the Philippines? Thank well, you. we were just talking with the ambassador, and there are several things that we have uh, that we have. We're slowly the process that we began. Um, after my visit to President Xi and to China in January, uh, we have developed those, uh, those concepts, the concepts of communication, uh, the um, areas of, of uh, the, the, the issues about uh, the fishing grounds. Uh, all of these things are continuing and we perhaps soon we will be able to report. And this is the way that we strengthen uh, this relationship that we have with China. Of course, on the, on the private sector side, this is going on without any, any, any stop. It, uh, the, the opportunities that China has given the Philippines and the Philippine corporations and Filipinos in general uh, have been uh, invaluable to, to, the, to the Philippines. And that's why the, that, that continues. Uh, whatever else happens, uh, the, this relationship, again, will not be defined by... Uh, the differences, but by our common areas of interest, 
and our common beliefs and the, the similarities in our culture, which uh, we both countries will understand very well. I think that is a very fertile ground to build, to plant our relationship and keep it growing. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you. Malakanyang Press Corps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.